I would just like to say, again, viewer discretion is advised. This case happened in Kansas, Missouri, March 21st, 2016. I watched the videos of her online. She was dancing, goofing around, and enjoying time spent with her friends. Her sister, Lakinia Busby, said, quote, she encouraged everyone around her to be the best that they could be, end quote. Unfortunately, this may have been her downfall. Deja Balsby was just 18 years old. She was on her way to graduating from Southwest High School, and one of her teachers, Paula Schaefe, says that she was a bright light, called her a shining star. She was definitely going to attend college in the fall. She had been an honor student while in high school and earned enough credits for a associate's degree at Penn Valley Community College. Now, another article said she was set to attend Gramlin State University, but all in all, this girl was smart and she was definitely college bound. Her cheerleading coach, Haley Steele, said that she was incredible, always friendly and so lively. Deja had a job at Foot Locker, and she was doing pretty well for herself. I mean, keeping her grades up, going to take college courses, planning for college, working. But at the same time, she was worried about her father, 43-year-old Jerry Balsby. He was on drugs, or he had been on drugs for most of her life. But she cared about her father, and she wanted desperately to get him help. I did read online that her father was very abusive to her mother, and this is the reason why Deja had been estranged from her father for quite some time. Now, court documents would show as far back as 1994 that Jerry had many encounters with the law. Either he was drunk driving, or he was on sub some type of substance abuse that he was arrested for. On March 21st, Jerry would call his daughter and tell her he was going to come pick her up. He arrived and he would take her to the Four Acre Motel on Hickman Mills Drive. This was around 8.30 p.m., so CCC footage showed him leaving that same hotel room at 3.30 a.m. The next morning, the housekeeper would arrive to clean the room, and she would find young deceased woman on the bed. It was Deja. She appeared to have had her work uniform on. Her hair was stuck inside her shirt. She had definitely been redressed, hurried, and improperly. She had scrapes on her neck, her forehead, her lips. The police was called. They arrived. A sexual assault forensic exam or rape kit would be performed. The awful, heartbreaking news had gone to the family. They immediately had their suspicions. They knew that Jerry was behind this heinous crime. Deja's mother had watched her leave with him that night. CCC footage would show her father was at the hotel and he paid for the room. Now, authorities would find Jerry three days later after Deja was murdered, and he actually had on the same outfit for three days. Jerry would assure the police that he had got the room for his daughter and her friends. He said he left his daughter there alone and he did not know what happened to her. Police did confiscate his clothing that he was wearing. I mean, Jerry was the number one and the only suspect. Jerry hadn't even attended his daughter's funeral, all while protesting that he was not responsible for his daughter's death. He was an innocent man family tells me that they are glad that this arrest has been made because they are now a step closer to getting justice for Deja. Prosecutors say that DNA evidence linked that father to the horror that happened in that room, room 253.
the, the community has been waiting for an answer. On Monday, March 21st, police were called to the Four Acres Motel on Hickman Mills Drive after a cleaning staff found Deja Bogsby lifeless. He called Deja that Sunday night and had Deja come out and he picked her up and took her somewhere, wherever that hotel was. DNA would show there was blood and semen all over his clothing. The DNA evidence was cited and Jerry's DNA was all over his daughter. It was in her mouth, her anus, and her genitals. The autopsy report said that she had been brutally beaten, sodomized, and smothered to death. He was arrested six months after her death. While incarcerated, Jerry would not take any telephone calls from his family. During the week-long trial, on the fourth day, the footage from the hotel was shown. No one had entered the room other than Jerry and Deja. During the trial, he at times seemed uninterested in it. His lawyer, Gary Fieldman, argued in court that Deja was a willing participant in this. He said it was consensual. He even said, quote, why would she drive with her father to a motel room if it wasn't consensual sexual relationship and stay with him for hours? If she didn't want to be there, most teens would want to go somewhere and do drugs or get alcohol, but she was having a secret rendezvous with her dad. End quote. That's actually what he said. Jerry would actually take the stand. He spoke for 45 minutes. He only mentions his daughter once saying, quote, yes, Deja was a star, end quote. He would speak for the additional 44 minutes. He blamed racism. He viewed it as modern day slavery, forming him into what he had become. He said he was the victim. He referred to his daughter's death as an unfortunate occurrence. He said that the incest virus made him do it. He said, quote, I was bewildered by my sudden behavior. That's why I sought help, unquote. He spoke about his schizophrenic mother who beat him with electrical cords when he was younger. He spoke about the racism of this case, the conspiracy theories, the criminal justice system, and again, him being the victim. Three years later, on September 19th, 2019, Jerry Balsby was sentenced to two consecutive life terms, one each for second-degree murder and sodomy. He was sentenced to an additional four years for incest and seven years for sexual abuse. Deja's sister, Lakinya, would give an impact statement. She said their childhood growing up was hell on earth. Quote, it felt like we were unworthy of a good life, but she was determined. She was going to be happy in a world of evil. I wanted to be just like her. Life was traumatic for Deja, and it ended traumatically. Unquote. To a young woman who had beat the odds, Pin Valley would give her mother, who preferred not to be mentioned by name, her associate's degree. And the college had actually dedicated a memorial garden in memory of her. This was a horrible, horrible case. They all are horrible. The things that people do to their own children and pretty much have no remorse for. Everybody, her friends and her family, says Deja would have been something. She was supposed to be somebody. But it was taken away. Keep resting, Deja. <laughs>